This is Emmanuel, the man that showed me the light. I am who I am today because of him. I guess I should start from the beginning. the car key and the key to the house. You are listening. No, I don't. Okay. been in these items. Make sure you don't miss the thing. <laughs> I don't see what the big deal is about you. I could have taken care of these things myself. I don't know why they have to bring you in. Anyway, what makes you so special? I don't know you. Neither do I even want to know who you are. I am doing my job, and so if you have any problem with the people you're working for, I suggest you sort it out with them. And now, I was told you're going to assist me, and please do just that, period.
Expensive. Expensive, mm. but do you like it? It's okay. It's okay. It's I just feel it. Can I help you? Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. Oh. But what? Have a look. This one is expensive. Forget yeah, about the money. I don't want the designer yeah, I want the good food. I don't know. Forget about the money. It's okay. You like it? It's okay. I should keep this. Yeah, keep that. Oh, I'm sorry. No problem. Sorry, please. Mr. Rex was happy with the last. He had it over the news. So he decided to wire some bonus into your account. I tried convincing him not to, but hey, I'm just a worker. That's right. You're just a worker, so stop running your mouth and tell me about the target. That's Femi Ayodi, a gun dealer. This guy is responsible for 45% of the guns used for armed robbery in this nation. We have evidence that he just hooked up with some Germans and they're shipping him some very dangerous artilleries. I mean, if these guns get into the hands of some armed robbers, not even the entire army can stop them. Can you imagine this nation with robbers that cannot be stopped? I don't want to think about that. So, Mr. Rex and a certain part of the government want this gun dealer exterminated. I'll call you in the next few hours to tell you his exact location. Mr. Rex wants this clean and simple. And as usual, make sure there's no trace back to you. For if you get caught, we will deny ever knowing you. And as if we don't kill you first. Are you done? Yeah, I'm done. Now you got the fuck out of here.
not going to ask you again. Where is my money, Simon? Alfred, I didn't take your money. You know me. For the past two years, I've been washing your car. I didn't touch your money. Are you trying to tell me you didn't take my money? You alone wash my car. And I left 20k in the glove compartment inside my car. Then who else must have taken the money? My girlfriend, have you asked them boys? Have you asked them? Ah! <coughs> Are you trying to tell me that my boys will steal from me? <coughs> you did Chris? Fred. You did Chris? Fred, don't listen to this guy. He's a fucking liar. Let's just burn him up. Alright. Yeah. Get it, guys. Get, get the floor. Get the floor. Get the match. No. Hey. Hey, hey. Hold on. What's going on? What are you trying to do to this man? Who you be? Let's consign you, Ross. Let's consign you. No, 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 no. What, what? Just tell me. Talk to me. What is, what is what's the problem? This guy here is a thief. He is a thief. How much did he steal from you? How much did he steal from you? How much? Talk, talk to me. I will pay it. He stole 100k from me. 100k. So you mean you want to burn this man alive because of 100k? Please. Listen, 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 young man. Listen. If this man has stolen from you, call the police and get him arrested. I thought you were coming to pay. No, it's alright, it's alright. I will pay. I will pay. Hold on. How much? Said 100k. Okay. <sighs> Sorry, eh? Sorry. Cash. All the cash that I have with me. Here. I'll give you a balance as soon as you get to my house. To your house? No, I live just next door. Uh, then if I don't get to your house, it's gonna be 150k. Uh, I didn't steal any money, eh? No, come on, come on. Yes. If you want us to follow you to your house, it becomes 150. I am willing to pay you the balance once you follow me to my house. Who is you just let this man go. Let him go. Uh, what makes you think you can just come around here and just decide and say whatever you want to say? If you're going to allow us to follow you to your house, it's going to become 150. I'm not afraid. I beg now. Oh. Put this on him. He's already. Oh, no, Put this on him. No, 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 no. And that is how we met. That's me. I'm Samuel. Good evening, sir. Good evening, my dear. I will see. You. Thank you, sir. So, how are you? Very well, sir. I don't know if it's a tiny point. I suppose he's doing well, sir. So far, so good. Make sure he doesn't miss any mark. May I speak freely, sir? Of course you can. What's the problem? Well, sir, I don't understand why you have to bring him in for these jobs. I could have taken... Listen to me. Listen to me. Nda Abuja said he's the best. And we need the best for this job. You know how delicate the situation is. Just make sure he does not fuck up. Are we clear? Crystal, sir. Good. Now, do you want something to drink? I'll just have energy drink. Mm. Of course. Get an energy drink and give me another shot of brain. <laughs> and you, uh, and 
ಇದು ಇದೆಲ್ಲ ಹಾಕಿ ಇದು ವಾಟ್ ವಾಸ್ ದಟ್ ಕಾ ಯು ಟೋಲ್ ಮಿ ಯು ಮನಿ your father's money my father's money and my own money is our own money <laughs> don't worry we're going to give you a special treat tonight are you serious yes <laughs> in that case I better prepare um brand please okay sir. <laughs> uh then is give me the docket and raise the bill please um excuse me please one should have brought it for me please okay sir i uh, have been planning other things for you i have other things that brought really from uk mm-hmm. i like to show them to you and i know you like them you still got it okay i don't think it's too much for you girls thank you very much you see any time i see both of you around me i'm so happy excuse me sir i drink those and plant oh really yes sir okay All right. Thank you. Is that okay? Well. Wow. So, you are talking to me. Eh, uh, yes. Um Oh, thank you very much. When are you taking us to Paris? Paris. Yes. Um <clears throat> Next one. <laughs> and the way is not for you girls it's for men real men that has liver <laughs> anyway so when i'm taking us to paris as in where is that place i will take it i will take it to paris <laughs> are you okay i am not <laughs> focus to me anymore. Oh, that's very good. That's very good. Don't worry. I'll get out of here soon. Hey, come on, Sam. Well, you're welcome to stay here for as long as you want. After all, I'm not married with kids. You should focus your energy more on getting better. And uh other things we'll put them in place later, okay? Who are you? Are you sure I'm not dead? Or are you gay? <laughs> We thank God that you are alive somehow, that you're not dead. And as for being gay, I found women very, very attractive. So I'm pretty sure that I'm not gay. I've never met a Nigerian as kind as you before. Who are you? You don't want to use me for money, Richard, do you? <laughs> Come on, Samuel. Why are you so paranoid? I saw a guy who was about being burned by some people and uh, I wanted to know why. I wasn't just comfortable with the answers that I had. I had to step in to help you. Uh, I mean, life is worth more than a hundred thousand. Don't mind those guys. Don't mind them. They accuse me of stealing. 
You know, I may be a lot of things, but repetitive? No. I work hard for every penny I earn. I've been watching that idiot's car for one year now. I've seen 300k in the boot of his car. I didn't take any penny from that money. Why now accusing me of 20k? Stealing 20k? Wait a minute. It, it doesn't make sense. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. 20k? Only 20k? Just 20k. But that bastard claimed you stole the 100k from him. <laughs> the guy 41 are you? No. The guy 41 are you? I had only 40,000 with me. I just have to give it up so that you, I mean, just to let you go. You shouldn't have given him any money. You shouldn't. I'm beginning to wonder if he actually lost any money at all. Now, you, Samuel, owe me. And that someday, you would need to do me a favor. Favor? <laughs> so you live here all alone? Well, it's not exactly my place, but uh, for now, I stay here. So, where are you from? I'm Wafi. Born and raised. <laughs> what about you? Um, I'm from a Bulga in River State. What about your family? Mm, my family. I don't have a family. My family was slaughtered by the government over land and oil dispute and for standing up for what it belongs to them. I grew up in foster homes until when I was 18, I decided to join a rebel group to fight against the government. I did that for some time and then moved to Abuja and then headed to the east later on. I lived in Abba for a while until when I was uh, 28, I decided to come back to Abuja. Wow. I thought I had a bad life. Well, it looks like you turned out okay. Once more, I say thank you. And again, I will say, don't mention Mr. Samuel. Hmm? I'm so grateful. As I was saying, on Monday, I have that uh, information that I need with the vessel, and we can be able to send it down to the captain. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, Japan. Sir. Did you find him? Sir, we got him on the idiots. Good. Bring him in. Okay, sir. Excuse me, I'll be right back. Give me a sec. Now listen to me. I will only ask you this once. And I want you to give me the answer that I'm looking for. Who did they send after me? And when is he arriving here? I don't know, sir. I'm only a messenger. Look at me, you fool. <coughs> Do I look like I'm playing with you? Sir, I think he's lying. I can make him talk. Go ahead. You <coughs> fool, talk. OK, please, I'll talk, I'll talk. You better tell me something, man. I can't thank you enough for what you've done for me, man. If only I have money to pay you, man. Well, thank you, Samuel. Uh, you don't need to thank me. We should be thanking God for his reason why we are still alive. If you didn't send me there on time, I'm sure by now you'd have been burnt alive. Because those guys really meant you so badly. Man, for 20K. <laughs> I don't know what this country is turning to, man. Now, wow. I know. <laughs> I wish I would have taken that money. And that way, there would have been a better reason for the beating. Well, Samuel, there's something I would want you to do for me. So let's leave the past in the past. And uh, what has been done has been done. I know. It's about tomorrow. 
I mean, I'm here. Even with those monkeys trying to take me out, I'm still here. I'm grateful. But thank God all the same. Now listen to me, Samuel. We need to talk. Are you ready for me to leave? It's much more deeper than that. Do you have a family? Like, like I said before, I don't have a family. Since I came into the city, I, I, I've been on my own. I came into the city all alone. I don't have a family. I don't have a family. You see, Samuel, for the past few days, you have been like a friend to me. And I feel like telling you everything about myself, but at the right time. And I think the time is now. Because tomorrow does not guarantee anyone. Samuel, I have cancer. And I don't know when I'm going to die. And I don't know how long I'm going to live. I have money to come to terms with that, knowing fully well that I can die any time. I mean, it's just a matter of time. That's just by the way. What I wanted to tell you is this. I am a professional killer. I kill for a living. I kill only bad people who deserve to die. <laughs> of course you are. And I'm the president of Nigeria. <laughs> Emmanuel. So it is serious. See, I've always known people to be people. No one deserves to die. I mean, it's not in our powers to judge. Listen to me, Samuel. Do you know that this country can be one of the greatest countries in the world? If not for the bad people that are ruling us. They don't care whether you live or you die. All they care about is their Swiss bank accounts and their mansions abroad. They sell our oil and natural resources and share the money amongst themselves, allowing their people to suffer in poverty. Samuel, can you tell me what kind of leaders are these politicians? When their own people that they govern have no light, no good roads, no schools, no medical facilities, no jobs. And yet, we are the fifth largest oil producing nation in the world. Can you explain that to me, Samuel? Countries that do not have half of what we have can afford to pay their citizens monthly allowances and improve on their economy and therefore reducing the rate of crime in the country. Samuel, the oil money belongs to you and me and other citizens of this great nation. But do we see it? No. Every day you see children and jobless adults begging for food on the streets. Young girls selling their bodies to provide for themselves and their families. And young men picking up guns and going into armed robbery. Somewhere, all this breaks my heart. And that is why when I see a chance, when I get a chance of putting the bullets in these so-called politicians or leaders or whatever they call themselves, it gives me pleasure and hope. It makes me feel that justice has come. Samuel, I want you to join me. I want you to work for me. So that even when I'm gone, justice can still be served. Man, this is too much. I need to think, I need to think about it, eh? It's too much. to digest. I'm just give me some time to think about it. I do understand how you feel. And to be honest with you, Samuel, if I were in your shoes, I would say no to that offer. 
But I just want you to know that as long as I'm in this city, you're welcome to stay with me. I see you as a friend. And even if you say no to my offer, you're still welcome to stay with me as long as you want. No strings attached. So, I'll be heading to the house. I'll do it. Did I hear you say you would do it? Emmanuel, I'll do it. If it wasn't for you, I would have been dead by now. Ever since I could remember, it's just myself. I didn't care for no one or nothing because that's what this country taught me. Since I moved under your roof, I've learned that not all people are liars, selfish and heartless. There are good people out there. You cared for me, a stranger. I mean, you fed me, you put roof over my head, you put clothes on my back. Even my parents didn't look out for me the way you have. I'll pay you for the kindness you've shown me. Brother Samuel, I did what I did because I care about other people, not because I wanted you to pay me back. And that's why I want to work for you. Manuel, you're a good man. I can learn a lot from you. Besides, with your condition, I can do a lot of things for you. I can clean. I can even cook. And when you think I'm ready, you can take me on one of your jobs. Are you sure you're ready to do this, Samuel? Because once you're in, there's no turning back. Emmanuel, let's do it. But you will do whatever I ask you to do without any question, agreed? Agreed. Okay, that's good. So let's start with you cooking me lunch. <laughs> me and my big mouth. <laughs> somewhere, somewhere, it's going to start. Okay. That's good. You know, okay. you spring, you spring, okay. in and out, in okay. and out, okay. in and out. I have you in control with this grip. And this is like using my upper body and my lower body as a weapon against it. Toss him around. Beautiful. Toss him around. And after that, you also have an advantage on using your knee to break him down. Because as it is right now, you are struggling to break out of this grip, isn't it? Leaving your ribs open, your arms and your legs, your knees are your weapons, right? So all the time, they must work. So let's go. Where go with my palm and my knuckles? Sammy, your knuckles, and you know it. That knuckle is too hard. Sammy, let's do it. Give me 10 walks. One. Let's go. Let's go. You see, Sammy, you have to be flexible. And you know you're in a smaller frame, so it's easier for you to do a lot of things on the air. Give me a look. Come on. Sammy, Sammy. Hey, bros. Alpha. Ade. Ade, Ade, Ade. You can see you enjoying the fresh air. As you can see now. Kapori here. What's that? Oh. It's a gift for you. A gift? Yeah. What are we celebrating? You being reborn. And as a newborn child, you must learn your new ways of life. This is my diary where I have logged every single hit that I've done in the past 10 years. It has everything that you would need to truly understand what this job requires. I wrote down places and time where I did all my hits. Everything. Okay? You see, Samuel, 
the first hit is always the hardest. I can remember my first hit like it was yesterday. It was a man who goes by the name The Dawn. He was a drug lord. Everyone who tried to put him in jail came out dead. He paid military leaders monthly to keep him out of jail. So he became so powerful to be touched. And so the secret department of the Drug and Law Enforcement Agency had to bring me and Sergeant Rogers in to take him out for the government. The Don, as he was popularly known, had one witness, women. He loved women so much that he never slept with the same woman twice. Hmm. On the day of the hit, I followed him to his hotel and took a room next to his room. This guy was so arrogant that he never cared about security. He felt he was untouchable. So what I did was to hire a woman to seduce him and get his hotel room keys. Samuel, I want you to study this diary carefully, as this diary will serve you as a manual to kill him. Okay. Study that diary.
I take it easy. It's okay. Wow. Hello, beauty. How are you doing today? Is that mm. guy with you? And if I say yes, would that make you go away? No, but if you want me to go away, all you have to do is just say it. Instead of him kicking my ass. <laughs> Nobody's gonna kick your ass. Thank God. Um, it's just that he's some kind of scary looking guy. So, but that's by the way. Are you a movie star <laughs> or something? Are you the president's daughter? Neither. I just need him to protect all this. Whoa. <laughs> all this? That's nice. Well, in that case, you have to fire him and give me the job. Yeah? And who are you? Oh, sorry. I'm Samuel. <laughs> and you are? Well, Samuel, I'm Amina. Well, it's really nice meeting you, but sorry, I have to go. No, I mean, uh, why? Why are, you, why are you rushing out so quickly? <sighs> but I thought we were having such a good time together. I'm sorry, but I really have to go, okay? Maybe we'll see each other again. Well, if there's a God, let that happen. Amen. <laughs> You're some funny dude. What, are you a comedian? No, but if that's what you like, yes, I am. <laughs> anyway, I have to run, okay? Okay, uh, okay, okay. Can we meet here again the same time? <laughs> Tomorrow? Are you okay with that? I have to say about that, but I'll see you. Bye. Uh, I beg, get the door. Me. Me, it's me. It's okay. It's not the hot. Me getting here, even a protective name, a Roma. Wanyoma. Name, I doctor. How did you find me? Me, relax. Relax. You're taking it too tight. May I sit down? No. Not until you tell me how you find my house. Like I told you, there's a girl. Huh? I'm here. So, you didn't answer me as to why you have a bodyguard. What does your father do? I already told you, he's protecting all this. Oh. All of this? Nah, man. I can handle it. Let me, let me take care of it as well. <laughs> nah, guy, go sit down one place now. I mean, me. This is my baby. Sit down one place. I don't get energy today. Oh. What do you need energy for? With the way he's walking around, don't you have to mad? Don't you have to be I don't have energy. Apparently, you're not too worried about your ass getting kicked because you're still here. Oh my God. Me, me, you're so beautiful. Anyway, may I sit down now because. I'm, I'm, my legs are shaking, mate. Hey, you can this when you have movie guy. You keep up. Hey, let me just see that, mate.
He might have felt I was ready, so he sent me on my first assignment. Man, what the hell are you doing here? What do you mean? I miss you, so I decided to come home and see you and tell you that I just met someone. You could have done that over the phone without you risking your life coming all the way out here. My God, Kingston, I'm fine. Nothing is going to happen to me. Besides, I would think you'd be happy to see me. I am, sis. Trust me. But how many times am I going to tell you that some people are coming after me and I don't want you to get hurt in the process? You, come here. What's the matter with you? I hired you to protect this girl. And how do you let her come all the way out here, risking her life? No one was at stake. Short work woman. I'm sorry, sir. I tried to stop her, but she insisted on seeing you. So I don't want to get her upset. Oh, God forbid. Dead people don't get upset. Do you understand? I don't give a damn if she scream at you, yell at you. That is your problem, but never, ever let her do something as dumb as bringing her here. Do I make myself abundantly clear? Yes, sir. Why are you so upset? I'm not upset. Listen, man. Just get back to the safe house. I'll do whatever you want me to do, okay? Aren't you listening? I met someone and I want you to know. And I just asked you to go back to the safe house. I will come over there and see you guys. Is that okay with you? Okay, but you promise. I promise to get out of here. What the fuck am I about? Okay, okay. See ya, boy. We're gone. Bye. Jesus. I'm not gonna get any good help anymore. Don't worry, Kingston. I'm in hiding. Nobody knows where I am. As a matter of fact, I didn't even call with my car. I'll call you back later. Thank you. Hey, boy. Be at a lot, okay? You know there are some people after me. So be careful. Understood?
Ok, Emmanuel. Mais, mais. Michael, Emmanuel. Bon appétit. Hello, sis. How you doing? I'm sorry about the other day. I've been meaning to call you. Is everything okay with you? Hey, Kirsten, I need your help. What? What's wrong? I'm fine. I need your doctor's number. What doctor? What do you mean by doctor? Is everything okay with you? Are you fine? I'm fine, but my friend is a doctor. What friend is that? Me? What are you? Remember the friend I told you about? His uncle needs a doctor. So what is Dr. Phyllis' number, please? Okay, okay. Text me the address. I'll bring him over there with me. Is that okay? All right, okay, fine. Ah, this girl gives me a headache, man. I tell ya, I can't kill him, my little sister. I'm good, I'm good. How are you? I'm okay. How are you doing? I'm good. Uh, so, what's going to be the problem? The diagnosis is not good. It's not good. Hmm. So, what do we do then? We have very little time. He has very little time. If he doesn't get treatment, he'll die. Hmm. It's as simple as that. Let's see what I can do to persuade him to get a happy aid. Please do. Persuade him. Let's see what I can do. Thank Appreciate you, it. Appreciate it, though. Always nice seeing you. You would have done the same thing to him. He's just trying to look out for his uncle. So give me, no, give me slack. So how are you anyway? I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. That's good. I want to thank you once again. Well, don't mention it. Any, any friend of my sister is a friend of mine. <laughs> no. No, I guess I better be going. Okay, um, baby, I want to walk my brother to the car, okay? Um, what about dinner? I mean, ah, together, come on. No, I better be going. I have a lot of work in the office, you know. I need to get back to work. Nice to meet you, son. Pleased to meet you, bro. I'm going to show you. a friend of my sister. He's a friend of mine. So trying to get help for your uncle. You know, you happy you can get. Mm. So do the best you can. I'll be working on him until he gets better. OK. Thank you. Yeah. Baby, I'm going to walk my product to the car, OK? Be right back. This is the guy you want me to meet, huh? Yep. Exactly how do you meet this guy? Well, I met him at this bar that I go to relax. What do you know about him? Don't you find it a bit strange that he happens to be at the same place at the same time as you? Well, if I'm not mistaken, nobody knew I was going right. I mean, you're the one that picked this place for me to go to. Besides, don't you think if they wanted to hurt me, they would have done it by now? Hmm. You're right. I know he, there's no way he would have known who you are, or me. But I'm just worried about you, that's all. And I love you for that, but you have to trust and believe I can take care of myself. Besides, I'm not a little girl, you know. You're right, you're right. I just wanted to protect you, and sometimes I forget you're an adult. Anyway, I have to go. Just get the wind that uh, Reverend Michaels has been killed. And if I remember, I'm the only one left in that list. What list? Don't you think it's time you told me what's going on? Let's just say I want a brain injury. And they have some powerful men in this country who don't want that. And they will go to any rate to keep this country the way it is. I never did know why people don't want our country to grow. The same people that run in this country are the same people that clean it. And I will explain all this thing to you. I have to run. Well, okay. Yeah, so how are you enjoying this place? It's okay, I'm enjoying myself. I'm That's glad good. you brought me to this area. Oh, you like it, huh? Mm -hmm. I told you I was gonna like it.
getting too much. You need to get treatment. I can't just watch you die like that without doing anything. Samuel, I won't die. When the time comes, I will ask you for a favor. See, whatever favor it is, I will do it. Just, just, you need to go to the hospital. We'll talk about that later. We'll have a guest. Am I interrupting anything? What you want? I can't remember ex telling me about any job today. Well, if I'm not mistaken, you are brought in here to do a job and not for vacation, so... Do your motherfucking job. You know what, bitch? I really don't like you. The first chance I get... Tell ex that I will get on it. Well, good day, gentlemen. What's going on? All are gone except Kingston remaining, sir. Mm. Well, you know, he gave me you know what you want to do. What about the sister, sir? What do you want done to her? The sister. <sighs> you know, we may be a lot of things, but evil innocent people, that's something I won't tolerate. So make sure she's safe. What if we can't get Kingston, sir? Well, if we can't get Kingston, we just use as bait. At the end of the day, I still want to protect him. Hmm? I'll get her in right away, sir. Yeah. Now keep me updated and uh, with Kingston, make sure he looks like robbery. I understand, sir. Good girl. I'll see you at the house. Let's go. So you are the specialist. They're sending for my budget to come and kill me. Have a seat. Sit down. I'll tell you everything you want to know about me and I'll answer all your questions. Have a seat. Have a seat. Have a seat. The boys in Abuja were like me dead because I want to save this country. I've been in the government house since 1997. I've seen many things and done many things. There comes a point in a man's life where he must make a life-changing decision. Have you ever asked yourself a question? Why this country, one of the richest countries in the world with natural resources, and yet we are considered a third world country? Our road is a death trap. Every day people die in this road. Not even a light. They can't even give us a light. The most important aspect of life in this world. Every year, the so-called government promises us electricity, good running water, and road. They don't do it. All they care about is stealing our money and shipping it overseas. And making those countries over there better and richer than we are. I mean, look at Dubai, the country that we're way richer than they are. We have more oil and natural gas than they do. They're becoming the fastest growing tourist destination in the world. We can, our country can be way better than Dubai. And they just did it yesterday. Why can't these selfish bastards develop our country and make us a better nation? See, Emmanuel, for this country to move forward, all the old heads, in this country who've been influencing us since 1960 must be wiped out. We need to start clean. So what are you saying? You mean you and your group are trying to take over the government? It 
turns out that the people who were sent to kill were the good guys who were trying to make a difference in this country. Kingston had picked all the good senators that were ready for a better Nigeria. They were planning to meet and take over the existing government. But somehow, their plan leaked. After the explanation, Emmanuel was convinced and decided to team up with Kingston. Now, nah, man, look at my new Six weeks. Yeah, I believe it itself. Hello? Huh? Hold on. Can you imagine? Sir, it's for you. Yeah. You what? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Listen, you tell the foreman, these motherfuckers are too lazy. They're not doing nothing. Look at them. They're just sitting around doing nothing. What the fuck am I paying them for? Now, what did you say? Emmanuel told him he did not kill Kingston. <laughs> Do you know the consequences of your action? Eh? I mean, brother man, you belong to an organization. An organization that's guided by oath. An oath that you swore to protect, even if it means your own life. He told him his eyes are not open and he now knows the truth. Imagine you are no hell. Do you hear me? You are an idiot. Well, now, why would you jeopardize everybody's life by talking to your target? Huh? You and I belong to an organization of assassins and we get paid to do what we do and we ask no questions. Imagine told him there are more important things in life than money and he hung up the phone. Motherfucker! Motherfucker! Is everything okay, sir? No. Everything's not okay. I want you to get four of your best men. Hmm? Kill everybody. And let nobody come back to that house till everybody's dead. Do we understand? Because if they're not dead, trust me you, you'll be dead. Are we clear? Very clear, sir. Go handle that. Now, go, 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 go. Can you imagine? Still alive! Eh? Afternoon, sir. Afternoon, Japan. Sir. How are you doing? Everybody okay? We are fine, sir. All right. Stop when we are lions. Ukwaga, adequate safe. Everything is good. So this man, sir. He's uh, one of the good guys. His name is Emmanuel. It's okay. So you don't jealous. It's okay. Uh, Mr. Kingston, I suggest you send all your men home. Samuel and I can handle this. What? Are you crazy? Ask about to send a trooper soldier at my house. No, he's not going to do so because the organization is like a secret society. They like to do things on their own. He will only send men like me. Say three or four men precisely. You sure about that? Trust me, Mr. Kingston. You just let me and uh, someone handle this. OK. Japan. Sir. I want you to take my sister and all you guys to get out of here. I don't want anybody getting hurt, OK? It will be done, sir. Good. Uh, Mr. Kingston, the safest place for your sister to be right now is with someone. Clear this place and let us do our thing. You sure about this? Trust me. OK, I'll do this your way. On one condition, I'm staying and the rest of the men can go. What? If you insist. No. Let's do your way. Let's get out of here. Good morning, gentlemen.
Yes, police. This is Honorable Kingston. His mom and brother just broke into my house. I need you to send someone right now. Yes, 19M Street. Send someone right now. Thank you. Oh, man, what can express how I feel? Mrs. Kingston, it's not over yet. So what's next? I'll think of something. You okay? Manuel, you okay? You all right?
If you want something done, you have to do it yourself. It's your turn. Well, Emmanuel, Emmanuel, Emmanuel. I was told you were the best. Now I see why. Not the size I expected. But then again, it's not about size, it's about skills. Now, Emmanuel, I know you heard about the old saying, if you can't beat them, you join them. Well, with me, it's a little bit different. If you don't join me, I'm going to beat you. And right about now, I give you 10 seconds to join me. Or I will jump down here and I will fuck you up. Do you understand me? 10, 9, 8, 7. Six, five, one, last chance. Don't join me, I will beat you. Huh? Come here. Come here, bitch. Come here, bitch. Uh. Uh. Come here, bitch. Come here, bitch. Come here. Come here. I'm not done with you yet. Uh. Yeah. That's right. I told you. If you don't join me, I will beat you. Ah! Come on. This is what you got. Come on. Come on. Come on, man.
Yeah, hello, Samuel. Yeah, this is Emmanuel. You know what? We have a situation right now. I have one personal hit to do right now, and I want you to join me at uh, Marie Waterside. I want you to come prepared. Don't worry about that. When you come here, I'll give you more information. Just come prepared, okay? Okay. See you then. Wait. confess that I'm very, very proud of you. You really made me proud. From where we started to what you have become now, words cannot describe how happy that I am. I'm happy. I'm happy for you. I'm very happy for you. And as for Kingston and his sister, May, the council have accepted everything that I told them. So, that's safe. For you, Samuel, she never existed. So, you can go on with your romance with me for as long as you want. No one is coming after you anymore. All right? So, what if I want to continue your footsteps? If that's what you want, I'll talk to the council about it. Yeah. So back to business, Samuel. About the favor. You're a perfect teacher. And apart from that, I know what you're about to ask me. I'm afraid I'm going to have to say no. Samuel. Samuel. I need you to do me this favor. Just look at me. Look at me. A dying man. Samuel, I need you to do me this favor because I earn it. Bro, I love you like an uncle. And I can do anything in this world for you. But this, you call favor, man, I can't do it. I don't Samuel, think I can do it. if you claim you love me, do me this favor. 
Emmanuel, you are the only person I can call my family. Man, I can't do you this favor. This, is this all you call favor? I can't. So what if I leave you with no choice? <laughs> of you. I thought you were. Now in summer, I'll give you 10 seconds to shoot me or I'll shoot you. No, Emmanuel. I can't. Don't make me do this, Emmanuel. Get the match. No. Hey! What are you trying to do to that man? <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, I'm sorry. Okay. All right. Uh, uh, Fasten yourself. He's going to look at you. That's a chicken. What are you looking at? Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah. This is where I eat bones. Yeah, 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 yeah. I eat bones. Yeah. Man, get this shit all right, man, so we can get out of here. Can y'all, can y'all set this up, y'all? <laughs> Again, George, again, George. Blow, do this, man. Match again, man. Say again, say again, George. Give me blow. Put water and cook liquid. Give her liquid. Also, now just ready to give her a small liquid. Don't rush me, man. Let me get my shot right, now. Don't rush me, man. Shit. Oh, 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 Yeah, just brush, brush his chin. See, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to be Just brush his chin. Let him know, yeah. I'll see you. I'll never try you. I'm still wet. Right, 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 right. And you don't complain. What was I mean? I'm telling you, I'm real with it, dog. Let's go. All right, see you later. Man, we're working, dog. Yeah, man. Then, buff me, buff me, buff me, man. That's We're working! Man, I don't give a fuck. We're yeah, working, man. man. I'm working. Jackie like Chan breaks his shoulder, breaks his ankles, breaks his knee. My man. Do it again, do it again. You punch. Don't 
Go ahead. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Oh. I don't like this hand. Do something else. It looks to Chuck Norris. I don't know. Okay, George. Just come in front. Just catch him. Just catch him and bring him up. Because that's when he's going to kick you, right? That's when he's kicking my brain. Just catch him and bring him up. That's it. Oh!